A three-day youth conference aimed to empower Native American youth started today. Our Brenda Mack tells us more. When you get over here, call me, okay? Moccasin making, jewelry designing. These are some of the necklaces that the students were making. These are just some of the skills Native American elders are teaching the youth. We're trying to involve as much of our culture in it as possible because it's becoming really lost and we care about bringing it back. Not only cultural workshops are held. Oh my God, those are so cute. Speakers from all over the country also traveled to Red Lake to strengthen youths at the 11th annual Red Lake Youth Conference. I think it really shows them that um, there's people out here that are like them, that are fighting the same battles that they're fighting, and how they were successful in doing that. The conference first started 10 years ago after a tragic shooting incident that happened in the area. But organizers are looking ahead and moving forward by contributing good back to the community. Educate the youth, because it's kind of like troublesome around here sometimes. You know, with like drugs, suicide, and all those bad things happening around here. So. That's why leaders are addressing those issues this year. It also gives our young people an opportunity to share their thoughts with each other and ask each other questions that normally they wouldn't ask of each other, but in a comfortable setting where they feel safe enough. Evidently, the conference has not only helped, but empowered previous attendees to step up into leadership roles. We're just focusing on Indian youth because we're advocating for like Indian youth to do something with their lives, considering there's like a lot of the issues on reservations around the world. We are the ones who are going to be doing things for the future. The event is open to the public and will go on through Friday. In Red Lake, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.